In this video, I would like to show you how to use CPP Graphics C++ library to easily create a window that you can draw into and react to keyboard and mouse events, like the one you can see here. Doing these things in C++ always requires an external library, and while there are many libraries to do it, they are generally not easy to set up for beginners who do not yet understand how the build process works. Using such libraries also typically requires some programming knowledge that beginner programmers do not have. The classic solution to this problem is to let the beginners start with console applications, but it is not fun for a long time and the ambitions of the programmers usually increase much faster than their skills. I have been there too. CPP Graphics is a simple library to lower the bar, because it is specifically designed to be as simple to use as possible. It is not as flexible or powerful as more advanced libraries, but it is still possible to make interesting projects with it. Only very basic knowledge of C++ is required in order to use the library. It doesn't require you to know about object-oriented programming, pointers, dynamic memory allocation or custom types, the Hello World application is just 7 lines, you don't have to worry about handling the event loop, or even knowing what it is and so on. The library source repository also contains scripts that will do all the setup for you, so you shouldn't have any issues with unresolved externals, files not being found or other typical issues people encounter. You should still learn how it works later, but you will not have to bother from the start. CPP graphics heavily depends on SDL library, which the scripts will download, build and later link to. Before we begin, I will assume that you have a 64-bit desktop computer or a laptop running Windows, Linux or macOS operating system. You must also have a C++ compiler, CMake and Visual Studio Code installed. In case you don't have either of this, see the description for instructions, then come back here. I will show you the process on Windows, but it is exactly the same on the other two platforms. We will start by launching Visual Studio Code. This is the first time I am running it after installation, so it offers to select a color theme. You can really choose anything you like. Now we need to install some extensions that we will need. Select View from the top menu, then Extensions. Now search for C, C++ Extension Pack by Microsoft and install it. This will take some time. When it is done, you can close Visual Studio Code again. Next you must download the CPP Graphics Library source code. Go to the respective website, there is a link in the description, open the latest release, check the text and download the source code. Then unzip the file into where you want to work. The absolute path should not contain any spaces or special language specific characters. Stick to Latin letters, numbers, dashes and underscores. Then go to the subfolder called Projects. You will find directories with template projects. Select the one matching your platform, create a copy of it in the same location and rename it to how you want to name your project. Now you can run Visual Studio Code. Select Open Folder from the File menu and select the directory you just created. You have to confirm that you trust files in the folder, because code will run some scripts from there. After you confirm it, 
Visual Studio Code will look for compilers installed in your system and it will ask you to select the one you want to use. The available architectures may differ from the ones you see here. Select the one matching your computer. Some log messages should start appearing at the bottom. The script is now downloading the SDL2 library source code so it can build it. You must be connected to the internet and expect it to take some time. The library will be built inside the CPP graphics directory. It will not be installed into your system. Wait until the process finishes and the messages stop appearing. If all went well, the end of the log should look like this. Now you can select the explorer icon from the left menu and open the file called main cpp. That is the source code of your application. The only thing left is to push this button to build and run the application. If you did everything correctly, a black window should appear. The hard work has been done now. Let me now mention several things related to Visual Studio Code setup. First, there are several tabs in the bottom panel. When you build your application, the output tab shows the verbatim output of the compiler, and the problems tab shows possible errors parsed from the output in easy to read form. I like to show these tabs side by side, so I will merge them right now. Next, notice the buttons at the bottom. You will use them to build your application. It is helpful to remember the keyboard shortcuts for these options. F7 to build, Ctrl F5 to debug, Shift F5 to build and run. You can also set the build type using the drop down further to the left. Note that when you run the application from inside Visual Studio Code, the console input and output is piped into the built-in terminal down here. It is especially useful when your window starts misbehaving because of some bug in your code. In that case, you can simply focus the terminal and press Ctrl C. This will immediately kill your process and the window. In case you want to run the application without Visual Studio Code, you can simply run the executable which is created inside the build subdirectory in your projects folder. On Windows, a console window will appear automatically next to your window when you do that. On Linux and Mac OS, this does not happen, so if you needed the console for something, you must first open a terminal window and run your application from there. If you run into issues, let me know using the GitHub issue tracker which is linked in the description so I can fix it. Congratulations, you are now ready to start using CPP graphics. Thanks for watching.